uh, just, I felt like God put a message on me that I need to share with y'all. And um, the message is that, like, so, like, I fell into temptation again. I did bad again, but I prayed and had prayed for forgiveness, and you had actually had grief about it. I feel like a lot of times people don't have grief about sin and just pray for forgiveness. I don't feel like that's true. I feel like you got to be true from the heart to get forgiveness. Um, I know it says he forgives all, but I feel like sometimes if you're just like, oh, I'm going to do this. Um, God, can you forgive me? Let me do that again. God, can you forgive me? And that's not going to work. You can't just keep asking him for forgiveness and do something bad again. you got to actually try to stay like good and stuff and try to stay out of temptation is what I'm saying. But also one of the things I said, like a lot of times after you fall back into temptation, I've had it happen to me before, you feel like you're not worthy and it's just a whole thing. You feel like you don't, God, you, God doesn't deserve you and that um, you should just stop because you ended like you've been good for all this time and now you did it again and you should just stop reading and praying because you don't deserve it but let me tell you god will forgive you you do deserve it and he will always forgive you but i got a little word this it's not really related with what i was talking about because it's more of a it's just the daily verse that I have out of my book. It's called Daily Strength, a devotional, a devotion for men. Um, I don't really, it doesn't say the author on the front. Uh, oh, it's about Crossway. So that's like a big church organization. But I'm going to read it right here. Okay. That's prophetic word to the and and by the way I might say some words wrong my fault God's prophet word to Rebecca as her twin boy struggled in her womb was that the older shall serve the younger and indeed though her firstborn Asu I think it is did intentionally inherit the birthright he sold it to Jacob for a bowl of stew thus Espu whatever his name is despised his birthright one would think that this is disgraceful even this that this disgraceful event would seal Jacob's position once and for all in the family's mind. But Genesis, Genesis 27 chronicles two in the house responses to the dude, I keep freaking messing up. To the prophetic word that indicate that neither Isaac and Isu on the other hand nor Rebecca and Jacob on the other believe that God's sure word would stand. To begin with old, visually impaired Isaac to begin with, old, visually impaired Isaac believed that he could nullify God's word when he asked Isu to hunt game and prepare a meal for him, during which he would then bless Isu and thus restore Isu's birthright. He actually thought that this willful opposition to the stated word of God could thwart it. The pa I don't know how to say that. Pa crap. It's just um what's his name? Isaac's attempt to nullify God's were then brought about Rebecca and Jacob's conclusion in the absurd theater of deception that followed as Jacob, lying three times, fooled Isaac, fooled Isaac into blessing him. I'm sorry for all of the mess-ups here. And y'all can't really see me, but it's whatever. Into blessing him so that Isaac was compound, compelled to pronounce an anti-blessing on Esau thus sealing the blessing for Jacob. But there's a deeper absurdity here, namely, the matar or Rebecca and her sons believe that their sinful theoretics were necessary to make God's word come true and, by implication, that their lying and deception were justified. 
everyone sinned and suffered. Old Isaac tossed their relational torch into his family's tents by attempting to nullify good God's word about Jacob's prominence. Yeah, I think I said that right. The there was some Rebecca's attempt to thwart God's word then gave right or no Isaac's attempt to thwart God's word then gave rise to Jacob Re, Jacob and Rebecca's disgraceful machinations, which ultimately resulted in Jacob's flight from Esau to Mesopotamia, where he suffered long under the di diplomacies of double-dealing Laban. Rebekah never saw her beloved Jacob again, and Esau had despised his birthright, lost everything. How much better, how good life would have been if uh, Isaac's family had been had simply believed and rested in God's sure word. word. The sinful attempts to thwart it and the sinful attempts to help it would never have taken place. Men believe and rest in this today. Every word of God proves true. So we got the package here. Um, small, I think we got around, we got six tank tops. They're wife lovers. Um, I needed them because I kind of Stained mine pink, but let's rip this unit open. Got one pack there, and one pack here. This is the first time ever getting the what's it called? What's this sticker, no sticker. It's cool. Hold up, baby. Throw that away, but this is my first time ever getting the earth pack or whatever you want to call it. I forgot what it's called. Mm -hmm. Stuff in the normal pack first. Just basic tank tops here. We got normal white, young LA. These are the wife lovers though because they fit really tight on me and I like that type of fit. So got the blue one right here, just normal blue. And we got the black one right here. Nice, nice. Okay. Now let me open the other bag. Up right here. First one we got is like tan. I'll find something that go with that. Kind of looks like yellow in the camera though. But it's tan. Okay. like greenish find something to go with this just see could probably wear that with I don't know there's that we got the last one it's brown I can wear this with the other young LA pants that I got okay boys so I'm gonna hop on the scale and see what we weigh I'm Vulcan right now Seven.